If you've just joined us, it is day two of our bucket list week and we are using the hashtag, hashtag dream big. So make sure you get involved and become a part of our conversation on Twitter and Facebook. Tell us what are your biggest dreams. So today I'm joined by some very cool, amazing individuals. They're actually ticking off things on their bucket list. Number one, we have Elizabeth Gold and she you know, came from a bit of a prominent career in New York City. Oh my word, like she's involved in television, Bloomberg TV, ETC, um, and now she's actually an entrepreneur and you're following her passions and then we also have Tarek um, as well as Polisa and they're also following their dreams and they've recently become coders so welcome to all of you guys I'll start off with you Elizabeth first of all what were you doing in NYC can we know about your career girl <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was a television producer and correspondent at Bloomberg TV and then also here in Africa at Bloomberg TV Africa for many years and I covered technology and innovation and spent most of my career telling stories about other entrepreneurs doing awesome things and building the future and now I am an you've entrepreneur. You've been to Silicon Valley, okay, and you've met many some times. amazing tech entrepreneurs that have changed, you know, the world, the face of technology. Tell us about some of them that you've met. Uh, I have done interviews with Bill Gates, I've done a lot of different interviews with young entrepreneurs who are just getting their hand, sure. feet, you know, hands dirty and building really cool things. And you know, it's now so yeah. it's amazing, but you know, that can also happen here in Africa and so that's why Codex is training the next generation of African coders so that they can also become entrepreneurs and build awesome stuff. Nice. Now, obviously, you can tell us about Codex. Codex involves coding. For people that do not know, we've covered this before on H9, but for those people that do not know, what exactly is coding? And can you give us practical examples of how we use it in our everyday world? Sure. Almost everything that you do that has anything to do with computers or software or mobile phones or anything involves coding. Okay. Coding is essentially programming a computer to do what you want it to do. So whether that's building websites like Google or Facebook or apps like WhatsApp or Instagram, all of that is built and all of that has been created using coding. So if you know how to code, you could build the next Facebook. Sure, that is that is crazy, that is intense. Now, Codex, of course, um, is the training company that you have. How, what is it like being an entrepreneur and just leaving the world of television and interviewing all these amazing people yeah. to then starting your own amazing company? Well, it's totally different. Um, it's one thing to tell the stories and hear people talk about what it's like, but when you're actually doing it, it's really hard because there's no roadmap. In mm -hmm. fact, every company is different, and so the decisions that you make, you can get all different kinds of conflicting advice, you get all different kinds of different opportunities, and you have to really be very disciplined and focused and decide what it is the vision that you want to create and what do you want to see in the world. So it's, um, it's a lot of improvisation and a lot of educated guessing and a lot of testing and then going back and recognizing that you've made a mistake and then doing something else until you get it right. Nice. Now, I mean, I'm a fan of entrepreneurship as well. I love innovation. I love creativity. And if you look across Africa, where would you say some of the most innovators come from? Right here in Cape Town, of in course. In Cape Town, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Like some tech I mean, entrepreneurs. There's, yeah. there's an amazing ecosystem of technology that's happening in Cape Town. In fact, I'm on the board of um, an organization called Silicon Cape that tries to help foster more entrepreneurs and innovation in Cape Town. I think one of the most amazing companies in the world right now, I'm just going to give a shout out to a company that's based in Stellenbosch called LifeQ. And Rian Conradi is the entrepreneur. He, it's basically like Fitbit, you know, tracking everything that you do, all the steps that you take, your blood, your health, I've and everything. I've actually heard of that, and a lot of people are using it at the moment. Yeah, and it's going to become, I think, bigger and bigger and bigger, and I think it's going to go way beyond South Africa and to the rest of the world. And I mean, we've, we've, it's, it's born and bred right here from Cape Town, South Africa. So I'm going to talk to you guys right now. You actually product of the Codex program. Um, please tell us where your love for for coding started. I'll start with you, Polisa. Um, for me, it all started off in high school with my IT teacher. He basically introduced me to IT and I was the only girl in class. So people kept on discouraging me, but I was like, I want to do this. And I fell in love with it. And ever since then, I felt I went to Codex and it's just expanded my love for IT and it showed me what I can actually do with a computer okay. to generate a lot of stuff I want to do. I have ideas in my head, so the, I just tell the computer what to do and it gives me what I want. So yeah, nice. it's basically like that. It's what about you, Tarek? I never knew I liked it until I understood it. So understanding it is a big part of liking it and enjoying what you do. Okay. So, so there's a, obviously a project that you guys are currently working on in Codex. Um, can you tell us about it? Uh, You've got it right here on the screen yeah, already. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It's basically an inventory system for a spaza shop. So if you have a spaza shop and you're selling items, you mm -hmm. don't actually know where you're making the most money. 
and where you're actually losing money. So with this, you can actually see what you're selling the most of, what's making you the most profit, where you're losing money, what you need to buy more. If you run low on stock, um, you can actually see that you're running low, so you know you can go and buy more. Oh, so wow. this is basically the user interface. You can add a product there, you can delete a product there, you can edit a product there, and um, we can show you. I mean, it, was there a big need for this kind of thing? Is, is this actually a solution to the problem of some spaza shop owners? Yeah, like for me, my aunt running out a, a spaza out of her house, so it was a need. She couldn't see where her money was going. She couldn't, sometimes money would go missing. She doesn't know where. So this keeps track of what she's making, what she's buying, and how much money she's spending on there. So she can easily see if some iffy stuff is going on or you're stealing money or product is being stolen so she can easily nice. see and if you have this. an assistant or an administrator they can totally use this and help you that yes. so what is the actual how do we make this Show that's what i need to know Show i need to see the back end <laughs> okay, cool. we need to it's see the back end of this shift that over I'll shift that quickly over there so okay, this cool. is Basically, so this is what coding looks like yeah yeah this is it in a nutshell in a okay. nutshell this is just code where we use HTML and CSS, which is like your basic stuff that you need to do. How to build a website, you can use HTML and CSS, but with us, it's a bit more technical. So we're using JavaScript, which enables us. So the user can give us information and we can track how it's going. Okay. So this is like your simpler stuff, how to set up your layout of your page, how you want your product list to look like. So this is just the basics for now, but we don't want to get too technical okay. for you. Okay. Now, I mean, so, yeah. I've got to ask you guys, as this project, is it out there already? Is it, is it, have you put it on trial yet? Is you can access it on the internet. It's a quite a long link, it's a, a random generated name. But that's just the first rollout, like the alpha. This one is the second one with the database that we're busy doing, but okay. it hasn't been deployed yet. Okay. So basically, it just keeps on improving, keeps on improving, till it gets to a point where, where you feel as if it's when perfected. It's, yeah, when it's perfected, then people can like start using it. But sure. nothing then stops them. Then it'll be perfected after that too, because then then we yeah. want user feedback. Nice. Feedback. What are some of y'all guys' biggest dreams? What do you want to tick off on your bucket list in terms of what you want to create through coding? Um, for me, I want to create a, a company which basically is run by women for women to improve the community because a lot of us girls are scared when it comes to coding. So I just want to give them and um, motivate them to you come into inspire them yes. into coding. So they can nice. come into coding. Computers and are me. not scary. Yes, they are not <laughs> what scary about you, Tarek? A uh, recent project I'm working on is actually um, when you put your child in a school, every year uh, a lot of kids, don't, they don't get to get into a school because most of the schools are full because okay. there's more and more kids in the world now. So it's an app that shows you how many place is left in the school and you can actually make an online booking and book your child in the school and just wow. pay a small fee. So you don't have to go to the school to get your child in. You don't have to see this That place. is so helpful. That is solutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the fact that it's just like geared toward getting solutions. Guys, thank you so much for coming through today. You have so educated us and inspired us. And I'd like to encourage you guys at home to actually, you know, Google Codex, find out about them, find out about coding, because at the end of the day, the world is moving toward this level of, you know, being operated by apps and computer programs, etc. So please guys do get involved. Find out more about coding. Thank you guys so much. Nine, nine.